so for this uh, tutorial we will be exploring common errors we encounter when we draw a model in AutoCAD and import it in STAD the first thing we will do is draw a model in AutoCAD with emphasis on the errors so first what you'll notice we draw the model in all lines and not in lines and also you will notice that we draw lines on existing one so that there will be a duplicate number later to be detected by star so if you will draw the model in polyline instead of line we have to convert it here in AutoCAD as lines so you will use the explode command that is the number drawn here that's the number drawn that will be duplicate number So that is just an easy or a simple frame just to show you how things work out, how to remove the errors you will encounter in or in instead. So we have another we introduce another line then. And then explode so that all lines will now become lines so also notice that there's a number length that is not intersecting with the at the midpoint with the beam so we'll correct that one in style so we'll now save it save the file we're we'll drawing model into AutoCAD DXF file format Save. Then we'll now go to start and import the model. So we have here, let's name it frame. Then make sure you have the necessary lens units. Okay, make sure it's appropriate to your drawing. If it's meter, you use meter. It's kilonewton, then you also select the desired or the appropriate units. So we'll now go to file, then import 3D DXF, click import, then click the uh, locate the file where you save it. Unfortunately, for this, we will encounter an error in importing because the save file is also opened in AutoCAD so there's a sharing violation so okay why up okay then units to be used then there's a sharing violation because it's open in AutoCAD so we close that file first we're not save because we already saved one in the XF model. Then repeat, repeat or re-import it instead. So again, file space. Let's say frame, then meter and kilometer. Then file import. DXF, find the file, then Y up, then OK, then use the units, then that's it. So please take note. That's our. Uh, there are errors there, so we will not check for errors before you proceed with adding loads, adding properties, or anything else. So first you have to check because later on 
there will be errors in your analysis. Okay, so click that one. So if you notice, there are two structures. So check for multiple structures. We have two structures here, so it's not good. So we have to have only one structure. So intersect. That is in geometry then intersect. Selected numbers now. All numbers are intersected. But please note there is still now we have only one structure instead of two, so that's okay. So next we'll check for duplicate num nodes. So there's no duplicate nodes. Check for duplicate numbers. I'm sure there is one or two. Okay, so that B uh, is just duplicate numbers, meaning there are two lines there. So you have to merge it so that to remove the error in designing or in analyzing the stuff. So let's double check it again. Select, dupli check duplicate numbers. There's no more duplicate numbers. We also want to check um, zero lens beams let's say one inch that is your tolerance for a zero length beam so there's none so that's it your your frame is now ready to be designated or to move on to the next step 